Sean Mendez fans aren't happy with one of his answers during a recent fan Q&A. Plus, Sean apparently doesn't read his own album booklets. Who reads any album booklets? Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life with your pop star roundup, starting with Karamo Brown from the Fab Five for a moment. I was just on the red carpet with this season's Dancing on the Stars cast, and apparently yours truly is officially part of the Fab Five crew. Yes! Karamo and I didn't just talk about him being on the show, we also talked about Normani's awesome new video and him wanting to reunite Fifth Harmony. We literally will be in the trailer on the way, the Fab Five, and I'll play the vi your videos for all of us, so. Yeah, we stand. Fifth Harmony is on this cast. Are you kidding me? I'm the biggest harmonizer, Fifth Harmony fan in the world. Like, Normani's new video, literally, I have literally been trying to get a basketball on my knee and in my butt like you can't even imagine. Maybe all they need is for you to sit them down and get them back together. Listen, I am up for that. I Listen, I'm all about people like going out, exploring their careers, having amazing solo careers, which they have. But honey, I will try. I will work. I will literally work on facilitating it. Love him so much. Love the Fat Five. Hi, guys. But all right, on to Shamila now. It seems like Camila has continued to join Sean on tour, and the two were even caught smooching it up again in Montreal. Seems like they're going to keep bumping lips in public until Senorita lands the number one spot on the Billboard charts. Oh, my God. Shady. Just kidding. Anyway, to Sean and his amazing fans, during a fan Q&A in Montreal, he was asked why there's an extended bar of lyrics for the song Mutual in his album booklet, and Sean is super perplexed. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> really? This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just hear both. <laughs> but at the end, it ends with, um, Lyric, and then there's added lyrics, and I was just wondering what that was all about. I can't even read this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. well, <laughs> <laughs> there's a song, there's a version of the song that didn't make it on the album that there's an extra bar. Oh. Yeah. Oh. But I guess, they, I guess the album, the label heard it, that version, and when they were writing the things, they were listening to that version, but it wasn't the full, full version. So, you just never heard that version. But there's a version where there's more lyrics in the end. Interesting, but perhaps there's another explanation. A fan asked him to describe the feeling of performing live in tequila shots. What? So, on a scale of 1 to 20 tequila shots, how high do you feel every night on stage when you perform? <laughs> You're metering and like, the concepts are all over the place. <laughs> Tequila shots deep, like no matter what, even if I'm stone cold sober on stage. <laughs> 20 shots of tequila? Whose kid is this? Speaking of drinks, sidebar, no pun intended, any 21 and up fans notice that sake tastes like agua dente? Or is it just me? Actually, it's just Nick, because he tweeted that yesterday and then inserted it into my script. Stupid. Anyway, back to Sean. He did have a sobering moment in one of his previous fan Q&As when a fan confronted him about certain tweets from his past. Sean's reply has been getting some attention from fans who didn't really like his response when he blamed friends for his alleged and sensitive comments. Not acknowledge it. And, you know, I just think that you, a lot of things need to be moved on from. But I also think that the things that were saw, like I had friends when I was 14 who would like take my phone and like post things of them yeah and like because they thought it was funny that i had like two thousand followers and they would <laughs> things and they post photos of themselves and I, at the time i was just like not thinking about it yeah makes I sense no idea i was gonna have 50 million followers yeah <laughs> true which doesn't make it any better. yeah exactly but, um yeah totally i mean i apologize for everything insensitive that i said in the yeah. past but with that being said yeah i think that's not my personality. Let us know what you think of Sean's response in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the sub, like, and bell button for all the latest news on your favorite celebs. Like the Fab Five, because we love them.